assalamu alaikum welcome to the course of digital logic design so today we are going to solve some example problems of uh, flip flop uh, example 1 determine the q and q dash output waveforms of a d flip flop for the d and clock inputs as shown in figure 1a we have, so we have the clock signal and d signal given assume that the positive edge triggered flip flop is initially reset so this flip flop is uh, triggered with the positive edge okay so let me review back the d the d flip flop that we have covered in the last lecture so for d flip flop this one is example of the d flip flop with the positive edge triggering and we can see that if the uh, data is zero the output is zero if the data is 1 the output will be 1 so the solution of this uh, example could be given as now as you know that a positive edge triggered d flip flop can be only triggered with the rising edge or the positive edge okay so this one is the rising edge or the positive edge then we have this one this one the fourth number and fifth and sixth so there are six in instances where the flip flop can be triggered so uh, initially the flip flop as it reset so q will be 0 and q dash will be 1 and uh, at this state now the flip flop is triggered so the data available is transferred so we have a data of value 0 so that uh, will appear on the q output and then the next triggering will occur at this state so then we again it is zero so again it will be zero and it will remain zero unless the next uh, triggering occurs because there will be no change no change condition now a third pulse we have this positive edge now the data is high so the output q will be high it will remain high unless the next triggering occurs then we have the next triggering the positive pulse so the, now this time the data is zero so the output q will be zero it will remain zero and then we have the next pulse so you have so here the data is high so it will remain high and will continue at sixth pulse because now the data is again high the q dash output will be exactly opposite to this one okay so by re, by flipping this signal we can uh, obtain waveform for the q dash okay example 2 the waveforms in figure 02a are applied to the jk and clock inputs as indicated so we have three waveforms each is given for different input such as clock input j and k input so determine the q output assuming the flip flop is initially reset so initial condition of the flip flop is in reset and we have to determine the q output of this flip flop so let's review back what we have studied in the jk flip flop so in the jk flip flop if jk are zero there will be no change if zero one the the flip flop will be in the reset condition for one zero it will be in set condition and finally if both the inputs are one we will get a complemented output so here i have given the q output of a jk flip flop keep remember that this flip flop is triggered with the negative edge or the falling edge so here we have the clock signal the j is 1 k is 1 uh, initially it is in reset condition so the q output will be 0 then when the negative edge occurs now we have to see the value of j and k which is 1 so the, we will get a complemented output q will be 1 and q dash will be now 0 okay similarly if uh, it will remain high because now we have a no change condition is there is no negative edge 
uh, up to this place okay now we have another negative edge so here we have the j is equal to 0 and k is equal to 0 so this state will be called a no change state you can see it from its function table that at j k is equal to 0 there will be no change in the previous condition so finally at the third edge we have j is equal to 0 k is equal to 1 so at this state it will go into the reset condition it will be uh, remain same until the next stage occurs and at this state we have j is equal to 1 k is equal to 0 so it will be now be in the set condition and it will continue until the next waveform okay so it, the property remains same so up till the next waveform the it continues okay if you have still any confusions write in the comment section thank you